Hi, Clint here, and today we are going to be running um, a four mile course. But first, I thought I would be, um, I should introduce myself a little bit more and my trainer a little bit more. We've probably run the last three or four weeks on the video, and I really haven't um, talked to him. So, we're going to go ahead and do that right now. So, right now, if you're watching this in the future, this is April 2020, we're in the middle of a quarantine where not really allowed to go to the gym, go to many stores, or anything like that. So, what I want to ask you is, how do you, how are you dealing with that, and how are you getting through this, the day-to-day -day working out and getting motivation to, to do that? Oh, how am I doing with the quarantine? Yeah, like your fitness-wise. You know, it's um overall, how am I doing with the quarantine? I think um, for me and my wife. We weren't really sure. I wasn't sure how serious it was at first. For me, you know, it was kind of like, you know, are we seriously going to shut everything down? Um, but after a couple of weeks and after being quarantined, I just kind of fixated my mind on we're going to be quarantined and locked down to the end of the year. So that's what I got my mind set for. Um, so um, for us, mentally, it's been it's been easy. It's been a vacation. So <laughs> um, as far as staying in shape and um, just staying active, it's been really, really hard. It's been tough. Um, me encouraging other people has probably helped me the most. You know, so seeing you and your wife active, seeing you and your daughter active, that's helped me out. Um, because it's very easy just to sit in your house all day long, twiddle your thumbs and not do anything. Um, but I got goals, you know, when you have goals, you do whatever it takes to accomplish those goals, you know. Kind of had a pity party a little bit there, but actually, designing a plan every single day every single week to say i'm going to get up and i'm going to do you know make your little checklist i'm going to do certain things and commit to it and do it you know that's helped me out a lot do you have like a day that was like the hardest that the day that <laughs> the day that we ran hills last week <laughs> running hills last week is probably it might be today um no seriously um yeah i would yeah days it's really been hard that's been really tough because normally springtime my allergies kick in so it's been tough days just trying to control my breathing a little bit so i don't really know if i can pinpoint a day that's been the toughest um yeah yeah i don't easter was hard i will say that easter yeah. was really tough that was tough for us because we're used to doing um a big family gathering we're used to having a lot of food a lot of people over to our house um and really celebrating um the resurrection so that was really hard for us it was different it was different, so yeah, that was probably the toughest day thus far, you know, because you know, you know, people are going to break the rules, people are going to go to church, people are going to hang out with their families, but we really had to scale back a lot on that day, so it was just, it was weird, it was different, it was tough, but we got through. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess I'm going to go back to the beginning. Um, Brandon and I have known each other for like three and a half years, I had to look it up today to see how long it actually been. Three and been. a half? Yeah. I feel like it's been longer. It's. It feels longer sometimes. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute, now let's do the math. You did I the did math? the math. I looked on... So the first day that we I met, your math. Um, he told me that I need to log my meals into my fitness pal. So I've done that every day since then, so I can see how many days it's been. Yes. So it's been like 1,200 days. <laughs> so he was working as a trainer at the YMCA yes. over in Olathe, and we just got lucky, I guess, and got to have Brandon as our trainer. Moved around a few times. He had his own gym in a couple different places. Yes. Then Anytime Fitness, hopefully that comes back here and here really soon and not the end of the year, like you said. Um, but anyway, so do you remember meeting um, Wendy and I? Like, did, what were your first impressions? Like, what, do you remember our first workout? And uh, do you feel like we've improved? Oh, my goodness. Yes, I do. I remember when you and Wendy walked in the door. <laughs> I think, I think in fact, I, I talked to, I don't think it was you. I talked to Wendy on the phone. I set up the meeting and everything. Um, I remember when you came in because you're really tall. <laughs> so you're easy to remember but when we sat down to talk his wife she's hilarious by the way she did all the talking clint barely said anything i don't know if you remember that uh, like, that's you, the way i am yeah, all the you, time. you literally like barely said anything um i can make fun of him now because i've known him for so long talk about fashion his fashion was terrible <laughs> that's got that much better yeah. no it's gotten a lot better um i think you came you came in with these um all white new balances on right with the little end on the side Ah, oh, man, it, it was funny, but I, I do remember sitting down with you both, talking to you, um, and you just seemed so committed. You know, you seemed committed to the process. You seemed nervous, 
And I can tell, you know, I think um, when we talked, you were like, I haven't been in the gym in years. Like, I haven't done this in a long time. Yeah. And, you know, obviously, um, you and both your wife was overweight, but the conversation, we talked for a while. We were in there for over an hour just talking. It was a small, a small room that we were talking in. Um, but I just remember the commitment. That's it. That's what I remember about you, too. I remember the commitment. I remember the conversation. I remember like having to go through every single every single thing but one thing i loved about you you always came to work out you know regardless if you felt like it or did not you came to work out so yeah man and how you what, what was the other question you said have you changed yeah like how, how oh. have you changed and improved or oh right um <laughs> i could give an easy example so, okay go ahead go ahead. what example would you give i'll just go back to even before the, the days before that like i was still working in the office at that time and I had like these size, I'm not gonna say what size pants they were, but they were big and they didn't fit. So I got on the scale <laughs> and I was like 260, which is like the most I'd ever weighed yes, in my life. Yes. So now I'm like down way from that. But I remember one of the first thing that I said is, I don't wanna run the treadmill because I can't run because my feet are bad. So. You, you said, so, so, so you was like, um, I don't think I can stand longer than 10 minutes. I think you said something about yeah. standing. I do remember that. It yeah. was, um, as we went through all the issues and the ailments and the, the illnesses, injuries, he was like, I can't stand longer than 10 minutes. I was like, you can't stand longer than 10 minutes? Um, so you started off on the bike. I do remember that. Yeah. Yes. And I didn't I didn't do the treadmill probably almost for like six months. Oh, wow. It was a long time. Like, I was really terrible. And it's not like I'm a good runner now. I mean, it's probably weird that I have this channel about running because <laughs> it's not like I'm a world-class runner. So if you're watching this for that kind of stuff, that's just not me. Um, I'm doing it so I can show like places to run, um, races, which I hope come back soon, and just kind of what it's like to be just more in the back. It's not like I get last place, but I sure do not get first place either. So I just want to make that clear too. I think um, to kind of tell a little bit, a little bit about their progress, they came in. You said three and a half years ago. Yep. Three and a half years ago, not you know very uneducated about anything health and fitness. Um, no motivation, you know, motivation to come in there, but no motivation, no true knowledge of how to work out, right? Can I say that? Yeah. No, no true knowledge of how to work out, how to do a certain exercise. Like I said, Clint couldn't stand longer than 10 minutes anyways. Um, to now, I'm taking them through workouts that I put myself through. Now, Clint has ran, I don't even know how many races you've run, but if you follow the channel, you know, you can see how many races he, he um, that, that he's um, ran in. Um, severely overweight to, I, you say you start off 260. Yeah, I think I think the I think the first year you and Wendy lost so much weight after that first year It was just it was mind-blowing just to see the progress and as the weight came off You know your ability even with doing exercises changes too. So oh my goodness. It's like man. That's <laughs> yeah. It's amazing to see the transformation not only with their bodies, but also with their mind also with his fashion <laughs> now, All under armor mostly now <laughs> And then um, our relationship, I think our relationship has probably, you know, made the most progress over, you know, any of the transformations because you wouldn't say two words when we first met. And I think that <laughs> the first couple of months, Wendy did all the talking, but, you know, now and I think we talk more than, you know, yeah. more than Wendy and I. So, yeah, it's pretty cool to kind of see you come out of your shell, to see you learn, to see you apply things um, that was taught. But you all have taught me, you know, you, you've taught me some things along the way as well. So it's been, it's been nice. So, yes. I took Brandon to his first first couple of country concerts we, we actually went to a concert march 7th was like right when all this stuff ended i mean it was probably one of the last concerts in the city that we went to and it, yes it was it was fun so do you have any you said you had some questions you were going to ask but you don't have to ask if you want to get nope i want to i want to ask my questions on another day okay oh yeah well we'll have another one of these we're going to run um on indian creek trail today we're going to go north from mid-american nazarene university um just two out two back um, Indian Creek Trail is good because last week we or two weeks ago we ran south from 151st. This time we're going to run from Mid America, and then I think Saturday I'm going to run from like uh, Merlin and around late the east. So it's a really good trail. It's a really good route, and it's going to be shaded, which is good because it's kind of sunny today. So um, let's go ahead and get out there. Let's do it. This is one of the reasons I like this route. I like this tunnel you go here under Merlin. Oh, yeah. 
We end under Santa Fe. Got some bike riders here coming directly towards me. <laughs> yeah. Addison also came to run with us today, but she has decided to leave us. So she's way up there, just waving. I told her to try to keep a slower pace, and she never listens. All right, we are about a mile in. We just past Santa Fe, right behind the other place, so you know where that is. Um, it's a pretty nice day today, but it sure warmed up from when it started this morning. This morning, it was probably almost jacket weather, but now it's, it's pretty warm. It's getting close to the two mile turnaround, which is gonna be a problem. And my daughter doesn't have her phone. She's pretty far ahead of us. So hopefully she waits. Okay, we're going through the tunnel under Berlin, almost back. All right, we're coming back to where we started. Nice four mile run. Got a good sweat today. Um, I always think at the beginning that I do not want to run really today. Then you get out there, like that last mile, half mile, feel really good that you did. And then once you can get in the car and drive away, then you really feel good about it because at least I'm done for the day. I know Brandon, you got to do some more later, but we made it to the end, uh, four miles. Um, it's a little warmer today. Um, then it was all day, like all day it was really cloudy and kind of rainy. And then you get out here and it was hot. So, um, good run. I um, hope you enjoyed getting to know us a little bit more. I think we're going to do like a longer interview series later. Brandon has more questions he wants to ask and probably answer too. So, again, thank you for watching and I will talk to you probably this weekend.